Flivionite is a beautiful blue-green mineral that is composed of iron phosphate. It is named after the English mineralogist John Henry Vivian, who first described it in 1817. While vivianite is not a particularly well-known mineral, it is an important source of iron and has several interesting properties that make it well worth learning about. One of the most striking things about vivianite is certainly its colour. It's a deep, rich blue-green, which is caused by the presence of iron. In fact, vivianite is often used as a dye because of its vibrant colour. Typically found in sedimentary rocks such as shale and sandstone, it can be mined for use in the production of iron or steel. In fact, vivianite has been used as a source of iron for centuries. It's still mined in places such as Russia, Brazil and even the United States. Perhaps one of the more interesting properties of vivianite is its ability to spontaneously form under certain conditions. It can form when iron-rich water comes into contact with organic matter such as plant debris or animal remains. This process is known as vivianization and results in the formation of vivianite crystals. An interesting extension of this phenomenon would be vivianite's ability to spontaneously occur on dead bodies. A mortician, for example, might be vaguely familiar with vivianite for this very reason. Vivianite is also unusual because it can undergo a process called fossilization, in which it is replaced by other minerals over time. This can lead to the formation of vivianite fossils, which are essentially impressions of vivianite crystals that have been replaced by other minerals. These fossils are often found in sedimentary rocks and can be quite beautiful. In conclusion, vivianite is a fascinating and beautiful mineral that has several interesting properties. It is a rich source of iron, can form spontaneously under particular conditions, and can even undergo fossilization. While it may not be as well known as other minerals, it is certainly worth learning about and would complement any collection. As usual, we would be interested for you to let us know in the comments suggestions of different subjects that we can cover in the future. Let us know what kind of minerals, fossils, gemstones or areas of geologic significance you'd like us to cover next.